hey guys the next video that we are doing is the next thing that we are learning is basically nmos inverter of resistive type and we are going to find or plot its vtc that is voltage transfer characteristics in ng spice so this is basically how the diagram looks i have v in then this nmos then a resistor r1 typically between 1k to 10k whatever value that you like a vdd which is between drain and ground so the next thing that we need to do is numbering so i have named the ground as 0 okay now i could have named one somewhere here but i have named one at vdd the positive terminal at is one the negative terminal is connected to zero so both the nodes have been named now this one travels to one node of r1 okay the second node of r1 is empty so that is why i have named it as two now two is also connected to v out so basically my v out is between two and zero okay the this node is also connected to drain of my nmos so my drain is also at two my gate was empty so i named it as three and my source source is connected to ground which is zero body is connected to ground which is zero and v in it has two terminals positive terminal is at three because gate and v in are connected negative terminal is at ground so basically all my nodes have been connected so now let's write the program vtc characteristic nmos r type this is my title okay don't forget to write the title because if you don't write it you will end up making this line as the title and this will give you errors in the program the first line is vdd my vdd is between 1 and 0 so i have written it as 1 0 it is of dc type that is why dc and it is maximum of 5 volts v in v in is between 3 and 0 positive at 3 negative at 0 dc and of 5 volts the next i need to write or specify is this r1 or rl whatever you name so i have named it as r1 okay it is between 1 one terminal is at 1 second terminal is at 2 so it is between 1 and 2 and i am taking the values 10 k k means kilo ohms now for this mosfet m1 okay it is it has drain at 2 gate at 3 source at 0 body at 0 okay and i will have like w okay what is it i am naming it as n mod okay then i need to give the name n mod then i am taking w as 100 u that is micro my length equals to 10 micro please make sure that you write this whole thing in one line now i have written the parameters now i need to initialize the model so initializing the model i have to write dot model the name of the model which i have named it as n mod and the type of model is nmos the kp value is 200u my vto threshold voltage is a positive 1.5 volt the next line comes as dot dc i need to increase v in voltage step by step so i will write v in 0 5 in steps of 0.1 then dot control then i need to run this program then next i need to plot why what i need to plot i want to pl uh, plot the v out if you remember the diagram see this v out now my v out is connected to 2 terminal 2 okay so i will write plot v at 2 then end the control part that is why dot nc and then finally end the program dot end okay i have written out the program the first line vtc characteristics nmos of resistive type okay now this is actually nmos inverter so i will just change it to nmos inverter what exactly this inverter means basically when the input is zero the output should be one that is what an inverter does and if the input is one the output should output should be zero okay next line vdd voltage then v in voltage then my r1 then my m1 Two three zero zero name is n mod w equals to hundred u l equal to ten u dot model dot dc v in zero to five in steps of point one you can also have point zero one point zero zero one 
okay so basically what this step does it refines your model okay then dot control run then plot v to just relate correlated with the diagram that i showed you before then dot end control and then dot end now the changes that can be done in this okay i'll do that later let's first run the program so i will write as experiment 2 dot cir and look we have the output i'll expand it a bit for you okay so what exactly is happening here my input goes from 0 to 5 okay and this is my output goes from 0 to 5 again my, when my input has the range 0 to 1.5 which is basically zero voltage why because you cannot have exactly perfect zero you need to have a range which you can call it in binary as zero so my 0 to 1.5 here denotes that a range where binary is zero and here the range from like 3.5 to 5 is basically the range where it is binary 1 so when my binary is zero my output should be 1 because this is inverter i am talking about so that is why my output is 1 which is basically high voltage when my range is 1 Okay, three point five to five input voltage is one. My output is actually at nearly zero. So this is what this denotes inverter. And what about this region in between? What is this? This is basically the V I L V I H and other characteristics which we will talk in next program or some other program. But please understand this. This is inverter. Input range is zero. Output is one. Input range is One output is zero, nearly zero actually. Now, what are the modifications that your teacher or the invigilator can ask you to do? He can ask, he or she can ask you to change this W by L ratio and check what the what are the changes that you can see. So let me just change it for you. Okay. Previously, it was like. Hundred upon ten. W by L was hundred upon ten, which is basically ten. Now here it is five. So how does my output change? This is my previous output. <clears throat> Now let's look at the new output. Are any visible changes seen? I don't know if it's like visible in the video or not, but this range has slightly like decreased. It has gone to zero much faster. Okay. Now what will happen if this changes to like half? now this range is again reduced a bit okay so basically these are the changes that the examiner can ask you to see and check the output for change the w by l ratio change the kp value okay then again this will change change the step value to check how refined your output is okay so with this we end our second program thank you